Hey everybody, you join me at the beach. As you know, doing the metalwork stuff, I have to carry more and more stuff on me on the bike. Now, I still refuse to get a car or a van, <laughs> so I need more storage. And normally I use my backpack, which is 25 litres of space, but having, you know, 30 kilos of metal in your backpack is not always that comfortable. So a top box would be quite handy, but if you've ever seen how uh, the diversion gets a top box, it has this metal structure that comes out here, and the top box actually sits here, and it looks horrible, and I hate top boxes. So I was like, what can I get that's removable? So I looked at Lextech, and they have these, these, see, removable tail pack. Um, so I'm gonna, I haven't actually fitted this to the bike yet, so I don't know if it fits, so we'll find out. Um, but yeah, I thought this would be a good solution. You know, it's an extra 15 litres that can sit on the back of the bike, I can take some of my backpack, fill this up, and the bike will be taking the weight, not me. And I can take it off because I hate the look of the things. So I spoke to Lextech and said, what have you got in tail packs? And they sent me this one to have a look at. Um, and the reason I wanted one like this is because this is this is no, no multiple pockets. Well, there is actually a pocket here, but there's not loads of pockets and dividers and stuff. It's just straight space, and that's what I needed. I can stick a bin liner or something in here, and I can stick oily stuff in, and it will just stay but there is also a uh, a little pocket here which is quite handy for your wallet or something um and then you got uh, that appears to be your keys anyway what comes inside it a load of straps short ones and shorter ones really short oh hang on what have we got here we got really shorts mediums and longs I don't, I don't know uh let's just see if these fit i'm gonna go with uh because they've got these hooks and you basically hook these on and you want it to be secure on the bike. So I want to go under these. Under these. Hmm, they look too short. Ah, that's longer. But not too long. A different type. These are hooks. Uh, open-ended ones. Okay, so you get open-ended ones. And you get short ones. And you get long ones. Ah, that. Okay, trying it a different way. They're not long enough to get anywhere near the rear wheel. Neither are they. Okay, so it took a couple of goes. Uh, that's the thing with universal kits. You know, it, it will fit everything, but you have to find the best way. Um, I thought the long strap at the back would be the best idea. It actually works out better being at the front. Uh, it's good, it's solid, it's not coming off. Even if these loosen off, these can't fall off that way, and these can't fall off at all because they're looped round the bar. This is just over the end. Um, but it's good and solid. So you get four with loops, you get four short ones and one long one. Include a second long one, I think. I don't know, I just get a feeling. And then there's this. Because uh, this isn't inherently waterproof, like, properly. Not that that really matters for my applications, but it comes with a shower cap. It just goes over it. So if it's raining, it stays dry. Yeah, it's not particularly pretty, uh, but it's not permanent, and that's the thing that I like. Uh, it's 15 litres of space, nice and usable. It's not very expensive, I think it's about 27 quid. Um, I mean, I'm using it for putting oily bits of metal and stuff in, so I'm not really too worried about it. But the fact that I can put it on and take it off as and when I need is great. What more can you say? 15 litres of space and it's on the back of your bike. One good thing I can say though is that one of you can win one of these because Lextech gave me a second one to give away. So leave a comment and I'm going to use one of those random comment selectors and I'm just going to message you and send it to you. Nice and simple. If you're interested in one of these, there's a link in the description to Lextech's site. They've got lots of other bits and pieces on there. Um, my levers, these are Lextech and I should... I've already made a video fitting these, but I do feel almost like I want to make another review video to be like, these are so good. Months later, they're still perfect. They're just 
they're so good and it's kind of unbelievable how cheaply they make those or how cheaply you can buy them uh, and yet they'll be really good quality anyway so there you go there's a little sort of review unboxing fitting installation guide to, to something really simple but where it's universal you know it's going to be individual to every single bike that tries to fit this on so you've now seen the strap types work out what you can do just remember don't let any of your straps hang down into your rear wheel or anything like that you want them all tucked away um, but they're all alright but obviously it's pretty quick to attach because you just got to loosen off the straps I mean, you could leave the straps in the bike but I don't think that would be a good idea um, but you can just attach them off and it's got a carry handle and you, know, you could take it into work with you and, and come back out and jobs are good and it's a, it feels like a hard wearing canvasy type of material. There's plastic or yeah, I think it's plastic boards in it to give it some rigidity, but it's still pretty squidgeable. Uh, but yeah, that's it's not bad. Zips seem okay. So there you go. If you're looking for a tail pack which you can take off the bike and not have permanent fixtures for like a top box, that seems like a really good solution to me. Anyway, now you can enjoy me trying to get out of here. Oh, it's going alright. It's not going alright. Oh god. It's, oh shit. It's fine, absolutely fine. <laughs>